Next, uh, what does a simple SIC assembler do? Mm, an assembler's uh, job is basically to translate source program to object code and it is done through these following steps. Uh, it will convert all mnemonic, mnemonic operation codes to their machine language equivalents. What is this mnemonic operation code? In our program, we will have uh, instructions, right? Uh, like add, subtract. Mm, likewise, we can have any, num any form of instruction supported by the architecture, addition, subtraction, LDA, STX. These are few examples of mnemonic operation codes. They are converted into machine language equivalents. When I say machine language equivalents, we will have binary number which is equivalent for each instruction supported by the architecture. So the primary job of the assembler is to convert mnemonic operation codes like this into its binary equivalent and the second job is it has to convert all the symbolic operands to their equivalent machine address. Symbolic operand means it is nothing but labels. Labels that we are going to use in our programs should be converted to the address. All label definitions should be converted to address label definitions as well as label references both of them should be converted to address then we need to decide the proper instruction format anyway this is not a problem with SIC because SIC supports only one instruction format but with one instruction format we have two addressing modes direct addressing mode and indexed addressing mode so we have to decide upon the proper instruction format to assemble then we have to convert the data constants to internal machine representations. All the data constants we are having in our program should be converted to equivalent machine representation. For example, in my program if I have defined variable uh, byte, byte, uh, character, some character if I have defined uh, how characters are internally represented in the machine as we know all the characters are represented as 8-bit ASCII code. Right? So we have to uh, convert all the data constants to proper internal machine representation that is the another job performed by the assembler and finally after all these four steps are done we are writing the object program and the assembly listing which are uh, two form of outputs generated by the assembler. Okay. I just summarize the assembler functions now. The first step is we have to convert mnemonic operation code to their machine language equivalent and label should be converted to address. We need to decide proper instruction format uh, which in turn is dependent on the addressing mode used and then we have to convert all the data constants to internal machine representations and finally the assembler will generate assembly listing as well as the object program. Mm, we'll see both of them in our uh, further slides.